Good morning, family. Nugget, alarm system. The boys. Got Moody back there in the back chewing his cud in the mornings. That's something that he really likes to do. But he's coming. <laughs> What's up, Moody? High five this morning. Boy, you leave me hang. Oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. All right, buddy. Come on, Joe. Come on, Top. So I got to tell y'all a little story. That just recently happened so as you guys know I started feeding Joe and Topper over here because it's just a mess with Moody and them somebody always has something better than the next guy so that's what I've been doing and I and I bought Topper and Joe those black rubber bowls and no problems. Everybody seems to like them. No problems. You know, I originally bought this big trough. This, you know, it's pretty much a cattle trough to feed Moo Man in because, and he is a big cow or steer. And I and I feed him in that, you know, that big blue bucket, and he'll knock it over and all that kind of good stuff. So I thought that big trough would be perfect, especially when him and Mildred, uh, when Mildred's big enough and they live together. See him in his blue bucket. So, you know, I thought, you know what? The boys haven't had any issues with them using those black buckets or those black bowls. So I went and I bought Moody two of them. I like two of them in case that one gets halfway in the pasture and I don't have to go in there and get it during feeding time because Moody gets kind of, you know, a little happy come feeding time. So I bought Moody two of these black bowls because they're harder to turn over and I just thought it'd be way neater and not as messy and better for him. So I gave it to him that morning. Put the food in his bowl like I always do. Then I went over there to go feed the boys and just about time I got over there to feed the boys, Moody come running wide open over there. And I thought, why? There's no way he could have ate his food that quick. So I thought, what in the world's going on? So I went back over here and checked. Lo and behold, of course, his food bowl was still full. I thought, man, that something ain't right. And then it dawned on me. He didn't like the black bowl. So I went back. And I took the feet out of the black bowl and I put it in his blue bowl or his blue bucket. I put it in there. He started eating it. And then I took the boys feed back over where they normally feed and he started eating and all was happy. What I think is those black bowls have a rubber smell to them because they're rubber. And he didn't like that rubber smell. I don't know if that rubber smell eventually goes away. Uh, I don't. I don't really know. But yeah, these bowls are just rubber and they're kind of almost indestructible. And that's the reason why I liked it. But it does smell like rubber, kind of like a um, kind of like a tire store almost. So he didn't like it. He absolutely did not like it. And I don't blame him. And I'm glad he told me he didn't like it. Because we're going to get him fixed up. We want everybody, you know, to be happy here. Ain't that right, Miss Fox? Yeah. So no! What's up, Sonny? What's up, girl? How you doing this morning? You and Foxy Loxy. All right, let's go feed everybody else. What's up, alarm system? Yeah, I hear y'all. Loud and clear. Y'all check out these Egyptian geese. Aren't they just beautiful? Kind of odd looking, but beautiful. And technically, they're not really a goose. It's really a duck, according to the chicken master. They have a crazy call. Uh, I'll try to catch it. 
they'll do it today. They sound way different than anything here on the farm. <laughs> crazy, crazy. Beautiful though. How's Mildred doing this morning? She's okay. She's okay? She had her bottle. On to the grain. On to the grain. Is she? She'd rather have two bottles. Is she doing grain. it without your hand? No. Uh, no. A little bit? No. no. Okay. She did yesterday a little bit. She did yesterday? Mixed a little bit of sweet feed with it. Yeah. And that seems to help. But oh, she cool. still don't want to eat it out of the bowl. She'll get it. All right, let's give the alarm system a little snack this morning. Oh, y'all loud this morning. Y'all won't let me talk. A little snack this morning. Nugget said he's ready for a snack. Nugget don't care for corn. Really? I don't even offer it to him anymore. As soon as I said that, he's down there eating corn now. Ain't that something? Gonna make a fool out of me this morning. You want a piece of corn? You don't do it like Mama does. No, sir. No, sir, I don't. Where's the bottle? I don't want that little piece of corn, sir. <laughs> you are sweetie though. Oh, she She's grown a foot. She's a big girl. Come on, Nugget. Come on. Oh, there's Tucker. You a little late. Tucker is late this morning. Looks like she come from the barn. You reckon she was sleeping in there with Pink? Nugget, you don't want any this morning? Okay. Suit yourself then. You'd rather eat my shoes this morning. I don't get it. I don't get what it is about eating underneath the shoe thing. I just don't get it. Oh, look. Brent's here. The builder's here this morning. All right. Just pulled up. See who just drove up? Yep, Brent and the crew. That's right. The builders are here. We're gonna see some action on the big house today. I believe we are. I believe we are gonna see some action. Yeah, gonna see some action. Yeah. What y'all, y'all? Peaches know y'all in there, huh? Cause Peaches know y'all in there. I better get out of there before she comes over. That's all I can say. <laughs> Looks like someone has knocked their hay feeder over. Brooke says she thinks it was Mildred. I may stack them up side by side. And maybe that'll keep them from getting turned over. I don't know. I may end up having to drive T-post in them or something. We'll figure it out. Maybe that'll make it harder for him. I don't know. I guess she turns it over. She turns it over. We may have to T-post them and tie them up. Or something. We'll figure it out. One with Mildred. All right, Peachy. All right, y'all. Come on. Come on, there's everybody. I got you first thing this morning, ain't you? Now, the last, last video, you missed it. I'm just telling you. You said you weren't gonna miss it again, right? Wasn't gonna miss the snack this morning. Tucker, you gonna come get you some scratch? Huh? You gonna come get you some scratch, Tucker? Huh? Yeah. Hello, Opal. Now, Opal is an odd chicken. She is a mosaic, which is a very strange chicken. Electric blue ears, got that purple skin. 
See that black comb? Very, very unique breed of chicken right there now. Good morning, Dolly. You doing okay this morning, Dolly? Hmm? There's corny this morning. Yeah. Yep. Cleo. Now, I will say that I had separated ACDC this morning. He looks a million times better than he did yesterday. He just looked like he was feeling well yesterday. So I separated him. I gave him some vitamins, which is, uh, we use poultry cell. That's what it's called. And gave him some vitamins. Probably gonna swap that out for some electric lights this morning. But he looks fine today. He really does. And we gave him a shot of LA-200, which is an antibiotic. Uh, just didn't know what was going on with him. I could just tell his body language. He did not feel good at all, but he looks a hundred times better today. I'm not going to let you out today, though, buddy. We're going to keep you separated for a few days and make sure you're okay, okay? Now, that LA-200 is a three-day antibiotic for poultry. I don't know anything else now, but for poultry, we don't give it to him for another three days, so... We will keep an eye out on him. If we think he needs another one in three days, we'll give him another shot. But he looks a million times better today than he did yesterday. Sure does. All right. We'll swap your water out and get you some feed. We'll give you a little scratch this morning there, ACDC. Animals, chickens, whatever, you're gonna, they're going to get sick. I mean, they're just like people. And we have a certain protocol we do. Uh, we give them the vitamins in the water. Uh, we'll give them electric lights in the water. And all that you can find at your local feed store. Poultry cell is the vitamins we give. And then electrolytes, you can find those in the feed store too. They're in little powder packages, all in your chicken section. Then what we'll do, of course, we separate them. Then uh, if we need be, think so, we'll give them a shot of antibiotic and we do LA-200. That's a common general antibiotic and and these guys are our pets so you know we try to do whatever we can and he looks a million times better so pretty sure the antibiotic worked go swap your water out here i'll go get you another water what are you doing big boy I'm watering but ankle deep all right got acdc some electrolyte powder in in this uh you can see it turns orange you can see it where it come down the side in here Let's swap this water out right here all right we're gonna get your uh gonna get your electrolyte water going this morning Get him a little feed in there too besides that scratch. There you go, buddy. Oh, whoa. All right, Timothy. What are you doing up there, cobbler? What are you doing, buddy? Blueberry, looking lovely as usual. Blackberry. Always fabulous. <laughs> Timothy? What's going on, buddy? Huh? You mean pitchy? Is that what you want this morning? Huh? I rub your chest this morning? <laughs> All right, let's see what's going on in here. And the crew. There you get some food. Let me go get you some water. Everybody okay? Everybody looks good. Yeah, I'm thinking that's a hen. I really do think that's a hen. I think I was wrong. I should have known better to question Mary Carl. But I believe that's a little hen. Alright, so as we're doing chores, 
The guys started coming in. Brant and the builders are here. They're hard headed on the trusses this morning. The plumber's here. He's hard headed on the hard headed. <laughs> hard headed. <laughs> he's hard headed on the plumbing. And of course, y'all can hear Mr. Greg. I think he's always hard headed over there, ain't he? I think today's gonna be a super productive day on the Barnuminium. Some production here uh, all the trusses are up and they got the roof on one side almost done so this is the main house and it is uh it's looking good the main house is 38 by 60 and the garage mother-in-law suites 32 by 60 and that that extra <laughs> six foot yeah makes all the difference in the world it does it looks like a different structure I mean, it is much, maybe, much bigger. I just didn't have no idea it was going to be that much bigger. Maybe it's just the directional turn yeah. makes it look that much different. Well, uh, Brant said that they could tell it was bigger, that uh, just the extra three foot on the sheets of metal was really, really making it tougher. I bet so. Yeah. But it is, it's looking good. It, it looks great. They got a lot accomplished in a short period a, of time. A ton accomplished in a short period of time. Man, it's uh, it looks good. He said he loved the high ceilings. Did he? Mm-hmm. Said he did. Yep. Really liked the high ceilings. So I can bar, see us doing gymnastics from the. Oh gosh. Bars going across. Mm-hmm. It looks great. Tomorrow, I don't. I guess they may do just about the same tomorrow. I think they'll get the entire roof put on. Maybe and so. And finished. Maybe so. Now the, they did send us the pieces that go on this one because they were short of two pieces, but they had some dents on them, and Brent sent them back. So they had to send a couple more pieces for that. But he said that's galvaloon, that's silver metal. That's not hard to get. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. Now here is something that, of course, y'all all know that's been kind of a sticky subject and that is the plumber well the plumber's been here and he got brooks mom's house roughed in uh he did it pretty quickly he um he did he did of course have your help <laughs> i uh, didn't offer much help my <laughs> machine offered some help uh, he ended up taking up up uh, taking us up on the offer of taking the uh the ground buster there and and coming through here and helping him with these uh drain lines yeah because this 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 ground is it is hard it is hard you'll 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 start a fire with sparks trying to dig through it i'm not kidding it is hard well i had to go back over the same surface three times yeah just to get it good and broke up yeah well what's funny is he said no i, I believe i can do it i got a pickaxe he said it, it'll go through it pretty easy and that's what he said and then uh that that day, later that day that was the first day when he dropped the materials off <laughs> he come back to me and said hey i put an orange stripe down there you get your wife to come through there with that with that tractor, tractor. of course so, i was giddy because yeah. anything that has to do with tractor work and yeah. i'm all for helping anybody in any way we can that's right you know what i'm glad of what are you glad of we didn't do it yeah it's it, not that we couldn't have done it yeah i would have always questioned did we do it right? Now tomorrow he's got the trencher. He rented a trencher and he's gonna dig the trench for the main to come in and uh, go ahead and get that stuff up too. And he told me he already had our picks too. He had it bought and he's got it Great. too. Yeah, that's it right there. See it? All right. Yep. Well, you know what this means. What's that? That means we're gonna be pouring concrete very soon. Pouring concrete very soon. Now we did make some changes in here. I don't know if we talked about it in this or the podcast. Podcast but, for sure. Um, we added a bathroom 
First off, we're adding, we're going to add a sink. We're going to add a sink to the garage, just one of those utility style sinks in case we wanted to wash the dogs, if we were nasty, wash some boots, wish whatever. And then we my, had- My aunt sent me an a email. Yes. And she said, Brooke, she said, y'all will benefit so greatly if you go ahead and at least just stub up the plumbing to have a shower, a toilet, and a sink in that garage. And at first I was like, you know, what? why would we? But then I started thinking about it. There's so many days that we've get nasty. I can see me out there working in that garden, uh, the flower farm, and just being covered in dirt Look, from head to toe. I will have your clothes washed and ready for you <laughs> at that shower to prevent your nasty body <laughs> from coming through the um, house. Yeah. Trying to get to the clawfoot tub. That's right. Because this in the back. A, we're going to have a shower too, <laughs> but you know, back. just yeah. to uh, mm -hmm. just to make sure it gets good and clean. He might need a good tub, but we're gonna have a shower, so yeah. that's gonna prevent all that. That will prevent all that. By Plus, the way, I could I could wash dogs in yes, it. Yes, that was the thing. Washing dogs, uh, whatever. I mean, yeah. working outside. Who knows? You know, working outside need to yeah. go to the bathroom. It's all kinds of stuff we can do with it. By the way, that was Greg. We we waved at him. He tooted the horn over his. Greg, he, he puts just in, he puts in a day's <laughs> work. I'm here to tell you, he makes me feel bad. Oh. <laughs> Oh me! I'm I'm so excited to have this plumbing roughed in. Yes, because now once the floor gets poured, the concrete gets poured, Brent can start on the outside walls. Yep, I'm 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 just giddy yeah. to know that we are this close to having yeah concrete. Yes, and exterior walls and exterior walls and windows that we have had in storage. That's true. Guess what's coming tomorrow? What's coming tomorrow? Mary Carl's bathtub. <gasps> wow. So cool. next week's going to be a big week. Yeah. Because we'll be able to show you, hopefully, concrete. Yes. Hopefully, maybe some exterior walls. Maybe some exterior walls. A full roof. Yes. Mid-cross tub. Mm-hmm. Fixtures. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Yep. I'm giddy. Everything's falling into place. I knew it would, but you can't help but worry yourself over things you can't control. Right. <sighs> I'm relieved. <laughs> I feel relieved. Oh, me. Oh, good. Holding close, holding tight. Let the moon slowly take over on night. The sky's never been clearer than. Little lights float around A million fireflies that never touch the ground I see your pretty eyes light up as they fly away Heading towards town I've seen a thousand suns, too many pretty sights have crossed my way Be beautiful, a little boy, a little girl, playing love games in the middle of it all. A little kiss, a little touch, yeah, it's all it takes, no for sure. Other eyes, a single bed, staring at the ceiling, slowly lean your head. Put it on my shoulder and I close my eyes Praying for this night to never